In this video, we are going to talk about buttresses. You may be wondering what a buttress is, and in clay, a buttress is the piece that supports everything that is sticking up and off of your projects. Anytime you're attaching a taller, slightly thinner piece to another piece in clay, you're going to need some sort of support system at the base of where you're attaching, and a buttress is what provides that support. You can make buttresses visible, like in the picture on the right with a big red arrow, or you can make them invisible, like the mushroom where it looks like it's thicker at the bottom and just growing out of the base, but really there was a coil that was slipped and scored there as extra support or a buttress. To show you how I might approach a buttress situation, I've got the base of one of my mushrooms ready to go on my tile. So I'm going to slip and score it to my tile. Now notice that the base of my mushroom is not much thicker than the rest of the body of my mushroom. And this is what tells me that I'm probably going to need some sort of buttress to really hold it and anchor it onto my tile. I wanna make sure this mushroom is really stuck to my tile. So after I slip and score it, I'm just going to use my modeling tool to blend it to my tile all the way around. This does make sure that all of your pieces that you're attaching are really and fully attached to your tile. You can see here that since I blended the base into the tile, it's a little bit thinner at the base, which means I really need to beef it up and add a buttress, just like you can see in this tile example. I've got a variety of different ways that I really beefed up the base of that. I did it in an invisible way during this one, and then this one is a very obvious way that I added a buttress, but also made it part of the design, so it looks like the ground is breaking where that mushroom is coming out. So to start creating my buttress, I'm going to grab a little piece of wedge clay and I'm going to roll it into a small coil. I'm going to slip and score all the way around where I need to attach my buttress. This is going to make sure that my buttress is fully attached. I'm adding water to create slip on the surface. And then I'm going to wrap my small coil all the way around. This is going to create that thicker base and that buttress all the way around the base of my mushroom. Now, your coil might be too long and that's okay. I'm gently kind of pressing it in until I get the exact length that I need and then I can cut off the other half. I'm going to start blending the base into the base of my tile because I want part of the buttress to just disappear into the tile and not be very obvious. If I don't wanna blend it all the way, I can just blend it one way and leave it at that. I would use my brush then to kind of clean up all of those edges, but the second way I can actually make that buttress disappear, it's still just as strong, but by blending the entire thing from the base into the mushroom, I'm going to keep my buttress looking invisible and make it look like it's very gently growing out of the ground. Buttresses can be easy to remember to put at the base, but remember that when you're attaching things at the top of your thinner items, you can also add buttresses. So under all of these little mushrooms, I actually added small coils and blended them together and actually gave that um, transition a texture so that all of the tops of my mushrooms were just as strong as all of the bases.